step 6 create a database and table so we have already installed now SQL Server Express Edition on our computer so let's go ahead and create a database and a table we open SQL Server Management Studio login by our username and password and hit on connect perfect so now we are in our SQL Server database you can see the database folder click on that folder and right click click new database I'm gonna name the database as company TV and I will leave everything as is and hit OK so you can see now we have a new database called company DB let's create a table called department inside it so I will click on the plus icon and select tables right click new table perfect it gives us the design view uh, for the sake of simplicity I will use only two fields ID and name so here I'm gonna give ID data type will be big int allow null not allowed and second field name data type where care allow null no now the id field is primary key so i will right click and hit on set as primary key perfect once it's set as primary key i have to also set up the auto increment so i go identity specification is identity I will set it as yes what this does this will always auto generate the ID field and there will be always a unique ID field because primary key are needed to keep them as unique perfect and I'm gonna close this one click on save and give the name department hit ok so if I refresh now and I go inside table I can see a table called department let's enter two items in that right click on department select edit top 200 rows so I'm gonna give a department name as technology and did you see the ID came by itself second I will give the name cells close this one let's check the data right click click on select top thousand rows you can see I have two fields there this will be useful when we run the get all command from our rest API so in this video we created our database called company DB and next we created a table called department and inserted two records in the department table thank you